Here we're in front of a painting which is called Le Mépris, which is actually what you see is the chimney of the Villa Malaparte in Capri. It's like the main chimney in, I think it's in the living room. And it has also a glass, in a sense, that gives out to the landscape. So it has a double function. I made this painting, and it's also in the same space as the Murky Waters, which was in the same show, which was actually based upon the fabulous film that was filmed there by Jean-Luc Godard with the same title, Le Mépris. I mean, one of the epic films that will never be made again. And in that sense, of course, I got curious and also started to read everything Malaparte. But I read more enough to make up my mind that for me it is not a great writer, but it is a cult figure in a sense. And also a very emblematic element within the time he lived and the ambiguous things that he actually made as a proposition in his own life. And in that sense, since my work is also about a lot of distrust towards the imagery and the ambiguity towards the imagery itself, not only its content, but also the way it could be perceived, I think that might be some kind of a link with the sort of more bigger than life megalomaniac cult figure that and name dropping also uh, Malaparte was as a person. So in that sense, this painting was quite important for the show because it sort of amplifies that, but in a very, as I said, understated and modest way. The most important thing of the painting also that it pierces the wall. You, through the light, you get actually the idea of being sucked into a space which is behind the space you're actually looking at. So that's the doubleness of all those things. So everything is not really what it seems. You have to really look, you have to understand, you have to take your time. If we'd, we wouldn't have had this painting, Caroline and I, I would have re had to repaint it, for example, because as the snake fire, it was, although it looked very banal, it was very important.